Hello, my name is Mark Boyle and I'm a junior doctor. I've been asked by MCS to answer a few common questions aimed at students who are considering applying for medicine. So I hope you find this useful. I've been working as a doctor for three years now. I went to the University of Manchester for my medical degree. I've completed my foundation training, which is your F1 and your F2 years. And I'm now working in paediatric surgery. Typically after your F1 and F2 years, you can then decide which route you want to go down. Broadly speaking, that's medicine, surgery or GP. Uh, there are a few more um, options, but those are the three most common. And uh, for me, I've decided to go down the surgical route. Question number one. Can you have a social life? Uh, yes, you can have a social life. And in fact, I think that you need to have a social life. University is a good place to help develop that social life. Um, but burnout is a big buzzword in medicine these days. And we know that you can build your resilience and avoid burnout by seeing your family, seeing your friends and having a social life. So I would say that not only can you have one, but you need to make time for it. There is some specialities in medicine or surgery that are a bit more intense than others, but you know I don't think there's any um, speciality or subspeciality where you can have some semblance or a, a modicum of a social life. So yeah, you can and you should. Uh, question number two, what if you make a mistake? So we're all human, well, we've all made mistakes and I'm sure we'll all make a mistake in the future. But the way the NHS is set up is that there are systems in place to be a safety net to um, help prevent uh, mistakes from affecting patients. So um, if you prescribe a medication, that will typically be checked by uh, a pharmacist or a nurse before it's given. Um, as one example, if you do make a mistake, it's important that you're honest and open about it, that you speak to your, your um, seniors, so that your registrar or your consultant, um, if a patient is involved, that you speak to the patient um, and that you work as a team to um, explore that mistake and reflect on it and learn from it. So perhaps we can, you know, you can make some new system uh, to prevent that mistake from happening um, to you or any other um, doctor in the future to help improve patient outcomes. Uh, number three, have you had to work on shifts where there aren't enough doctors? So certainly... I'm sure the NHS could use a few more doctors and there have been some very busy any &E shifts, particularly in winter. But I, I don't really concern myself with the workforce. I don't think any junior doctor does. All I would say is that I've never worked on a shift where I haven't had access to a senior, so a registrar or a consultant, to ask for advice about my diagnosis or my management plan for that patient to make sure that patient was safe. You can only see one patient at a time, as a junior especially, so you, know, you just see that patient, you make sure they're safe, and then you see the next patient. And I've never had an issue of um, having some support from a senior at any time, no matter how busy uh, the shift, uh, the, the department was at that time. Uh, four, what is the pay like? So uh, the pay is reasonable. Um, I would say money doesn't buy you happiness, uh, and I've never had an issue paying the bills. And certainly the, the pay scale for doctors is reasonable. You can actually see what you know, uh, what you would get as an F one, as an F two, as a as a consultant, um, online. You you can Google it. There's pay scales out there, um, there's public knowledge. There is an argument that if you had a similar degree and you worked a similar amount of hours and were similarly skilled, in the private sector, you would make a substantial, uh, substantially more amount, um, of money. But. So if money does drive you, perhaps medicine isn't the one. Uh, but I would say that there are more things to life than money. Money doesn't buy happiness. And job satisfaction is, is a big reason why um, a lot of people work for the NHS. Because it's a, an extremely rewarding job in ways other than uh, monetary gain. Um, okay, and finally, please... Uh, then talk about three downsides of being a doctor and three upsides of being a doctor. So um, I'll say the three downsides and then we can end on a happy note of the three upsides. It, it is a stressful job. I, I'm 26 uh, and I'm going grey but um, you know it's a very rewarding job but it is stressful. Uh, number two, um, I've mentioned that perhaps 
in the private sector you would make uh, a substantially more amount of money uh, but again when it doesn't buy happiness and number three you do work on social hours uh, there's really no way of getting around having to work nights and weekends especially as a junior and um, if you decide to go down the road of a gp you can then work kind of a monday to friday uh, nine to five uh, type of role but you, there's no way of getting there without doing the the, the kind of weekends and the, the nights and unfortunately for some people that does mean missing kind of family and friends important life events like you know, a wedding and, and this type of thing uh, three upsides one you we are an extremely privileged position because we get to see people at birth and at death and all the vulnerable points in between uh, and we're really trusted by patients to look after their health uh, and so really it's really kind of hard to beat the that that level of job satisfaction number two especially over the re recent um uh, pandemic there's been an awful lot of grand gestures um of of gratitude from the public um, and it is a very well respected profession and that's been you know thoroughly rewarding and it, it makes you proud to go and work with the nhs every day i would also say that um medicine is a great passport so having a medical degree from the uk means that really you could go off and and spend a year or even long or a train um, in new zealand australia canada america uh, so it is a good passport for traveling you know kind of in a short term or a longer term scenario and number three uh, i really enjoy work it's, it's really fun i'm interested in surgery i work at a big uh, regional center there's access to lots of cool innovative innovative uh, toys that are, are helping us improve patient outcomes and really no matter what you're interested in if it's medicine if it's surgery if it's innovation if it's teaching um, if it's research, you, you know, you can find your niche. So, um, yeah, I'd say I really, I've kind of found what I'm interested in and I've, I've been given the kind of access and the tools to help explore that. So I hope you find that useful. Um, and if you do decide to go down the route of medicine or surgery, um, best of luck and maybe I'll see you in the future.